Welcome to Pundit TV Student News. I'm Janet Garrido. And I'm Jalen Bruce. Today we will fill you in on the latest in Beaver sports, and you will learn more about Putnam's best teachers in our high profile segment. Are you an early bird or a night owl? We pose our questions to students in our either or segment. In our candid question segment, I ask the students to reveal their best excuses for not coming to school. You will also hear from a teacher who taught at one local high school that has 65 drills in just one school year. Holy smokes, it's time for Pundit TV Student News. Sports leads off today's program. Let's go to Davin Peterson and Richard Foster for all the results. Thanks, Janet. The varsity football team suffered their third straight loss last Friday night. West Springfield blanked the Beavers 35-0. The Beavers' record stands at 1-3. Their next game is tonight against undefeated Northampton team. Game time is at 5 p.m. at Central High School. Should be a nice night for football, so hope we see you there. The boys' junior varsity football team beat West Springfield 21-6 this past Monday. The JV remains undefeated at 4-0. They will head to Northampton this Saturday at 10 o'clock a.m. Looking at soccer, the Beavers varsity boys soccer team blew out McCann Tech 4-0 to raise their record to 3-4-2. and and two. We taped our show before they finished their game yesterday against Westfield Vocational. You can get that score on our Putnam TV Facebook page. I had a chance to talk earlier with this week with one of the varsity soccer team's best player, Robert Hernandez. So how's the team looking this year? Team's looking good. Uh, Murph is a real good coach. He knows like what his players want, and he knows how to play them. Eric is looking real good. Uh, he'll probably be captain. Great communication, great playing. Jamar, he's a big man, but he has great skill, great just in general, just great handling. Just uh, Christian, great talking, knows how to stop the ball. We have some good-looking goalies, and overall, the season looks good. What does it take for the team? Uh, we're working good on communication. We're getting better, better at communication, uh, and um, our offense is just on point with their passes and their communication. They know how to switch the field. They know how to do all that. Shifting to girls soccer, the Lady Beavers handled Commerce on Monday. They defeated the Lady Red Raiders five to three. That victory brought Putnam's record to four and four. They were scheduled to take on Smith Vocational yesterday afternoon. Check our Putnam TV Facebook page for that score. In volleyball, the Lady Beavers shut out Franklin Tech on Tuesday to 3-0. Putnam owns a 7-4 record. Putnam's Angelica Bergera says the team is getting better all the time. How's the volleyball team looking? Um, we're looking pretty good. We've um, faced some complications, but we're working on it, and I think we're going to end the season strong. So what's the strength of the team? The strength, um, I would say communicating right now. We've um, turned that up right now, and I think we're going to... And the boys' cross country team lost to Holyoke High 47 to 17. That brings their record to three and two. Meanwhile, the girls' cross country team beat Holyoke 38 to 18. The victory raised their record to two losses and three defeats. The girls and boys compete at Mahar next Tuesday. That's it for a busy week in sports. Back to Janet and Jalen. Thanks, guys. Whether it's up or down, right or wrong, good or bad, this is either or world. And no one knows that better than our reporter Jason Nieves. In this segment of Either Or, Jason asks his students this question. Do you prefer daytime or nighttime? I'd rather nighttime because that's where I get to text my little honeys, my gorgeous girls, you know, FaceTime my boys, my boy Kev, my boy Jay, you know, that's what we do. Nighttime, because that's when I'm like most energized and I can talk to everybody because sometimes during the day, they still be asleep. I prefer nighttime. Why? Because it's more cooling, it's more relaxing, and you can get away with more stuff at nighttime. Well, I prefer daytime because, you know, at nighttime there's a lot of predators and you really don't know like what could happen to you at night, so. Uh, nighttime. Well, I have to say I enjoy them both, so I don't have a preference. I enjoy the daytime because of the light, and I enjoy the nighttime because I enjoy reading at night. So, Jalen, are you an early bird or a night owl? I'm an early bird, like an old saying. Early bird gets to worm. How about you? I'm an early bird as well. He's new to Putnam, but not to the world of graphics and printing. He's Mark Grasso, teacher in Putnam Graphics Communication Shop. In, his, in this week's segment of High Profile, reporter Axel Quinones tells a story of teacher who tries to bring out the best in all his students. <laughs> 
Graphics teacher Mark Grasso got into teaching with a mission. So I could prepare them so they're ready for the real world. So they don't run into the same issues that I had to run into and try to help them along. Grasso graduated from Passive Valley Regional Technical High School. From there, he went on to Fitchburg State University to get credits for his Chapter 74 license to teach. Using his education and experience, Grasso was able to center a philosophy on his students. And I always let the students know I take responsibility for all the errors. Because again, the students come here and they know nothing about the trade. It's my job to make sure that I teach the students. And for Mr. Grasso, it's about teaching all students. All students have potential. All students deserve the same chance. It's just a matter of they learn different ways. They excel at different ways. But if each student shows me growth, then I'm absolutely to have them in my shop. And to find out the different ways his students excels, Mr. Grasso really gets to know them. When you have a relationship with a student, you'll get to know them. You'll get to know what their interests are. And if I know your interests, I'm more apt to be able to motivate you in the lesson. Mr. Grasso knows his rewards come when students show they have mastered the art of graphic communication. I think that the best part of proving our shop is proficient and advancing is when I'm doing none of the lifting. The students do all the lifting for us. That's when the students in graphic are ready for the next step. Thanks, Axel, and thank you, Mr. Grasso. What would Putnam TV Student News be without the segment, Candid Question? This week, I had a chance to ask students what sicknesses have they lied about just to stay at home. You'd be surprised at all these excuses. What kind of sicknesses have you lied about to get out of school? I've lied about um, headache, throwing up, um, stomach pain. Um, I told my mom that I had chicken pot, so I drew little dots all over me so she can come and pick me up. I told my mom that I threw up and that I had a headache and told her to come get me. I lied about having my period and having cramps. What kind of sicknesses have you lied about to get out of school? Well, one sickness that I did was I told my mom I had deaf pneumonia and she let me stay out of school for two months. Okay, I said I had bronchitis because I was coughing a lot. Um, probably my stomach hurts. That's probably one of them. Yeah. You know, Mr. Johnson and Mr. Books is not going to like hearing all these excuses. You're probably right, but I suspect they've heard them all before. The Putnam Ski and Snowboard Club has a big fundraising going on. It's your chance to buy a Yankee Candle and support the club. Check out the website, yankeecandlefundraising.com slash store. Get your order in by November 18th. Get your candles in time for Christmas. Finally, here's one thing that got everyone's attention this past Monday, a fire alarm drill. The morning alarm sent students, teachers, and staffs to the exit. The drills are not intended to protect everyone's safety. There are also unintended opportunities for socializing and getting a break from class, especially when the weather is nice. Drills occur periodically throughout the school year, but one Putnam teacher remembers teaching at Commerce High School when an alarm went off at Commerce 60 times in one single year. There were a lot of them. It, was, it was, uh, wasn't pleasant in the rain. Let's just say that. Wasn't pleasant in the rain. A special thanks to sophomore Kyle Williams for sharing that iPhone footage of the fire drill with us. That's right. If you have some video on your phone that I think will be interest to our Putnam audience, come up onto our media shop in E205. We'd love to see it. 60 fire drills? You've got to be kidding me. I know. Maybe we could ask the fire department not to run those fire drills in the winter. I hate those. We could, but I thought they're going to listen to us. Probably not. But you never know when one of them might be the real thing. Well, that's a wrap for the edition of Putnam TV Student News. Be sure to tell your family and friends that they can see us on our show on YouTube or our Putnam TV Facebook page. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week. <laughs>